It's Wednesday evening and it's weather for Weather Geeks time. I'm 21 News Chief Meteorologist Eric Wilhelm and uh, we'll take a deep dive into what to expect over the next few days. Everything but snow in our forecast for the next few days. Some fog, some rain, certainly some warmth and some wind uh, as well, especially as we head towards Friday morning. But uh, in the meantime, it is cloud season in our part of the country and boy, it was a gloomy one today. We had uh, that bank of clouds around for most of the day now. This is not uncommon at this time of the year. If you are a longtime resident of our part of the country, you know that uh, December, January, February, even into March, it tends to be pretty cloudy around here. A lot of stratus and stratocumulus clouds in the sky today. These are the lower clouds, you know, the, the, the ceilings, if you will, only a few thousand feet. So the base of these clouds, you know, just a few thousand feet above our heads. And because of our proximity to the Great Lakes and other factors as well, uh, you know, this is not uh, uncommon at all during the cold weather season. In fact, statistically uh, in our area, you know, from November through March, you know, more than half of our days are dead overcast. And we're one of the cloudiest parts of the country at this time of the year. You know, the Pacific Northwest has a reputation of being a cloudy and damp place. And that is true at certain times of the year. But uh, even we beat out the Pacific Northwest at times uh, during the uh, winter season in terms of, of clouds and threats of precipitation. But aside from a little mist earlier on, these were pretty unproductive clouds for most of the day. We had some drizzle and some mist in some spots. You had to flip on the wipers a couple of times. Now the back edge of this uh, deck of clouds is very, very slowly starting to erode across central Ohio. Now it's going to take some time for that process to work its way into north northeast Ohio, northwest PA. But as it does so, as the sky tries to clear overnight, that will allow for the possibility of some fog to set up, it, just depending on how fast it clears. If it clears pretty fast later on this evening, the fog can set up in a hurry. There's a lot of low-level moisture in the atmosphere, and with the sky clearing and the wind relatively light, that's a recipe for some fog. So, uh, you know, the confidence is not real high in the overall coverage of the fog, but where it manages to set up, it could be locally dense for a while later on tonight and into our Thursday morning. But overall, Thursday is not a bad day at all. We'll call it a mix of sun and clouds midday and afternoon sending those temperatures into the lower 50s easily our warmest day so far in 2026 clouds will then thicken back up as we go into very late in the day thursday and into thursday night warm front lifts in there could be a shower overnight with this front i think the bulk of the wet weather will wait until about daybreak on friday this will also be a pretty windy period i don't have the the wind gusts uh, model, you know, uh, that plotted up here. But uh, right around daybreak on Friday, not only some showers around, but there could be some wind gusts up to 30, 40 miles per hour uh, as Friday starts. Uh, the, the whole day won't be wet and it won't be windy the entire day either, but there could be another band of showers before the day is through. Now, Saturday's forecast is proving to be a little bit tricky. Now, we still think that it's likely that the front that rolls through late Friday sags to the south and then lifts back northward as a warm front on Saturday. So confidence is pretty high as we get into the afternoon, we're going to get back into the warm sector. But some of the modeling would suggest that it is a little bit of a struggle and there may be a pretty tight uh, temperature gradient from southern Ohio into northern Ohio. In other words, southern Ohio is still a pretty good chance of getting into the warm sector. The farther north you are though, some of the modeling would suggest the front doesn't quite make it and therefore Saturday is not as warm as we are bargaining for right now. Now those ideas are still outliers. We still think the most likely scenario is the warm front does lift through and we spend one more day in the uh, in the 50s before the colder air wins the battle. Now in terms of rain on Saturday, I don't think it's a washout, but it may be wetter more frequently on Saturday than it is on Friday. I think you know Friday there's going to be some dry intervals, especially midday early afternoon. Saturday I still think there can be some dry intervals. They just may, may not be as numerous as during the day on Friday. So we're still going with mid 50s for daytime highs on Saturday, but keep in mind uh, that is a little bit subject to change if, if some of the modeling gets on board with this idea that the warm front doesn't quite lift far enough to the north. We may be stuck in the 40s on Saturday, but uh, we're going to go with 55 still right now and we have 60 in our forecast for Friday. That's a high confidence temperature forecast for Friday. I don't think we have any issues getting into the warm sector on Friday. After that, as I've been talking about this week, you know, it's it's you know kind of back to normal or even above normal in terms of daytime highs for a good chunk of the first half of next week. Of course, we're way above average Friday and into a lot of Saturday again. Exactly how far above average remains to be seen. We get that cool shot on Sunday, but after that, you know, the the Arctic air is still not present across the lower 48 states. So look at the temperature departure from average map on Tuesday. Uh, yeah, there's some below average temperatures in parts of the deep south. Otherwise, not a lot to be found across the lower 48 states. Now, I do think 
as we look ahead to the longer range, um, things are starting to come into focus as far as the the sequence of events, if you will, for the rest of January. I, I think next week will certainly be cooler than the next few days, but certainly not harsh. Um, you know, nothing real remarkable about next week's temperatures. But starting around mid-month, maybe sometime between the 16th and the 19th, somewhere in that window, um, I, I do think that uh, colder uh, air is going to settle back in. And by colder air, I mean, you know, air out of northern Canada and, and the Arctic. Um, and so that period from the 17th, roughly, through roughly the 25th could be pretty cold. It may rival some of our colder uh, snaps so far this winter season. It may come with some snow chances. Of course, that's a pretty low confidence idea at this point, but at least that seven to 10 day window starting around mid month to me looks pretty cold at this point. What happens beyond that? There's quite a bit of model disagreement um, and general conventional wisdom amongst longer range weather experts, certainly people who are more long range experts than I am. Um, you know, some of the modeling's trying to keep it pretty cool for a lot of February, and I tend to fall a little bit into that camp right now that um, February this year uh, is looking colder than we thought a couple of months ago. But, you know, that's still, that's not a real high confidence idea. It's not going to shock me into my grave, <laughs> if you will, if uh, February all of a sudden turns mild, because that is often an outcome in La Nina winters, even though right now La Nina is fading very, very quickly. I think we're going to snap into El Nino in the Pacific Ocean before spring is through, and certainly as we head into summer, and that will probably have some implications towards next winter. But hey, one season at a time. We're still in the middle of winter here in the Northern Hemisphere, and we've got plenty of wintry weather things to talk about in the uh, coming weeks that is for sure and this video will be the place to be for the latest analysis for eastern ohio and western pa in the meantime thanks for watching on this wednesday evening and i'll see you back here on thursday